let's be honest, we all know why you're here, so let's get this thing into frame and start the timer. So first you need the Imaging Edge desktop application from Sony, simply go ahead, download it. Once it's downloaded, go ahead, install the application and if needed, change the install directory. Once the Imaging Edge application is installed, it will start up and will greet you with a big orange download button. Click that button to download the modules we need. Once it's downloaded, another setup will start and you can click your way through that one too and in the meantime you can connect your Sony camera via USB to your computer. Make sure that the Sony camera's USB settings are set to PC remote mode. Once the setup is done installing we need to start our remote application. We can do that by clicking start and then a new window will appear which lists all our connected cameras. In my case it's a 6300 which is connected via USB. We simply double click this camera and now our viewfinder should start and stop the video countdown, we are done. And because most likely 80% of all my viewers already clicked away, I want to say you, thank you for being the 20% who are still on the video. In case you liked the video so far, make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing. I'm Greeny, this is Greenbox, and for the reminding, now probably 12%, Let's see how we can actually use this camera as a webcam. Unfortunately, Sony is not showing this camera as a webcam device to our computer and therefore we need two more pieces of software to actually use that camera in an application such as Skype, Teams, Zoom, Discord or whatever you're using. And one of those applications is, of course, Open Broadcaster Studio. Simply go ahead, download it and install it. Once OBS is installed, we need an additional plugin for OBS, which is called OBS Virtual Cam. Just download the latest version of the installer. In my case, it's version 205. And once that downloaded, of course, install this one too. Make sure that you install it in the right directory, the same as your OBS is installed in, otherwise this will not work. Once the plugin is installed, open up OBS. And now we need a way to bring our viewfinder into OBS. And to do that, we go to sources, add, and we do a window capture. And we just call it preview or whatever you want and select the remote application. Once that's done, you're greeted with the software UI in OBS. Of course, we do not want to show the software UI to our friends on Discord. So we are going to crop this out. And to do that, we press the Alt key on our keyboard and simply crop out all the unnecessary parts of this scene. And we are done. Now we can do a simple right click, say transform, fit to screen and we are in full screen. To actually use this image as a webcam, we now need to go to Tools, Virtual Cam, and because we don't want to always start it manually, we just go to say Auto Start. From now on, this virtual webcam can be used in Teams, Zoom, Skype, Discord, whatever you want to use, and I'm just going to show you how it's done using Discord. In Discord, we go to the video settings. Our camera is currently set to OBS camera. That's already right, test video. And from now on, we see, hello, this is actually working, but you see this image in Discord is now mirrored. And if you do not want to have a mirrored image, you can flip it horizontally using the virtual cam. Just hit flip horizontally and you will see we are now flipped to the other side. All right, so thanks to the now, I assume, reminding 8%. Very appreciated that you watched the video till the end. I'm Greeny, this is Greenbox. If this video helped, please let me know in the comment section below. Leave a like and please consider subscribing and help me on my journey to 1K subs. Yeah, I know, that's embarrassing. Anyhow, we are now on the end card. Please make me proud and not only watch this video till the end, but also click one of the shown videos on the end screen right now. I'm Greeny, this is Greenbox. Thanks for watching. I will see you. Bye.